Why do we need a garage gym? Because the likelihood of you jumping in your car, sitting in this for a long time, with guys like this that'll pull out and block you, that make your life miserable, because he's not gonna do anything but sit there and stare at the car in front of him, is why you need a garage gym. The trick to fitness is longevity, consistency. Those are the two magic bullets that will answer everything when it comes to fitness. Longevity and consistency. By having a garage gym, I can do it whenever I want, when I'm ready, and I can do it on a consistent basis. Consistency and convenience are two of the five C's on why you need a garage gym. If it's convenient, I can consistently do it. If I'm consistently doing it, there's a high likelihood I'm obtaining my goals and I'm hitting the results that I'm looking for. Warm up or workout allows you to maximize your time with the right company, with the right people. Customization is another C. You can customize this to basically fit your style of training. So the customization allows you to be able to cater to your style of lifting. And sometimes it's a hybrid. Notice a lot of times nobody's really exclusive on anything. A lot of us come from you know bodybuilding type backgrounds, and we've evolved into other facets of strength training uh, because of pure you know enjoyment out of that style. Gym, with it evolving, you kind of grow and customize it to your specific training styles. That's a very, very unique feature. And now it's my time. The garage gym, guys. Kids off to school, wife off to work, daddy gets one hour to train. By the time most people get in their car, and go and drive to the gym, I will probably be into my second or third working set. Convenience, convenience, convenience. Being able to work out in the comfort of your own garage is phenomenal. Me personally, I like to work out barefooted. Being able to work out in the comfort of your own home you can even work out naked. It's all up to you. Now, with that being said, these dumbbells represent a lot about a garage gym. What I mean by that, they're both 10 pound dumbbells, yet they're a little bit different, and that's okay. One is a TKO dumbbell with their patented tri-grip, the other is a standard contour rubber hex dumbbell. They're both 10 pounds and they both work perfectly. The garage gym doesn't have to be matchy-matchy to be effective. It just has to be functional. You can make it functional, and there's a lot of good resources out there to find affordable equipment. Doesn't have to be expensive, doesn't have to be complicated, and it's all yours. All right, we're gonna talk about cost. And cost, we're gonna break into two ways. First off, cost, monetary cost. Average uh, for access to, you wanna access multiple clubs, you're looking at roughly 179 bucks a month for you and the missus, or the missus and you, uh, to be able to have a membership there, full access. Now, we break down the Garage Gym. Uh, garage Gym Reviews did a beautiful breakdown of where kind of the pricing is. Average gym, Garage Gym's running about 1500 bucks, uh, starting around, uh, give or take, for the entire setup, and then obviously you're never done with the Garage Gym, you're always adding, as we know. But if we extrapolate the 179 bucks, it'll come, roughly take you about eight months to pay for that $1,500 gym, garage gym that you have. Now the difference is, is that you own that gym forever. 
the equipment that we're buying uh, obviously is we're wanting uh, a lot of life out of it and it's going to be ours forever and a day. So uh, the other side of the coin when it comes to cost is what does it cost you when you can't go spend time with your kids because you're tied up somewhere else? Or what does it cost you because you don't have the physical ability to keep up with your kids and your family? That is an intangible that you really need to factor in. We don't work out to work out. We work out for life. And this prepares us for life. So there's two sides of the coin when we look at cost. Monetary cost, uh, and we just broke down the numbers to so easily justify paying for your, for your garage gym in less than a year. And then the cost of not being able to participate is a cost that you'll never be able to get back. So these are two things you want to factor in when thinking of cost.